La Cité Frugès, nestled in the Pessac area of Bordeaux, is a creation of the Swiss architect Charles Edward Jeanneret Gris, known to the world as Le Corbusier in collaboration with his cousin Pierre Jeanneret. It was built between 1924 and 1926 by order of a sugar cane manufacturer, Henry Frugès, who was aiming to create a new type of social housing and provide better quality of life for the factory workers in the area. Their ideas aligned perfectly, as Le Corbusier had always been interested in creating modern architectural living spaces, underlining their efficiency and comfort. The two personalities had worked together before when Frugès commissioned Le Corbusier to build a small workers' city in Lèche Cap Ferré called Le Lotissement de Lèche. After the Bordelais industrialist bought the land for his dream city, it was clear to him. Construct an urban space covered with greenery where a utopian society could coexist in collaboration and peace. Le Corbusier drew the plans for this ideal community using clean lines with geometrical precision and with the help of simple shapes. This was also the first time he added color to his creation, creating a polychromy the practice of decorating architectural elements in a variety of colors. Initially, the houses were white, but Fruges was not happy with the idea, maybe because they looked like a cube of sugar to him. For this project, the artist applied his architectural manifesto, five points of modern architecture, piles that bear the structural load, the open ground plan, the free design of the facade, horizontal window which goes through the entire length of the facade and the roof terrace that is to play the role of a garden. Le Corbusier used a standard module with the 5x5 five five dimensions plus a half module that was reapplied to create various combinations to make the construction of his houses cheaper yet more efficient. The plan called for the construction of 127 houses but only 51 were actually erected due to the bankruptcy of Fruges. There were seven principal types of houses. The skyscraper, which were made up to back-to-back -back houses accessible by an interior staircase. The arcade houses, a house with an arch-like roof connecting two houses. The zigzag house, where three simple models are put together in a zigzag pattern. The staggered houses were built with basic modules with additional spans. The isolated house, called Vrina, is a two-level building with a roof terrace accessible by an external staircase. There were also the twin houses, and there was one final type, but it was destroyed during the Second World War. Do you happen to know its name? The houses were created for the people of the working class at a low cost, However, this did not mean that Le Corbusier was ready to give up on comfort. The houses had roof terraces, and garages, bathrooms with siphons, and a utility room, plus a duct system. During this time, this was rare, even for the wealthy. Even though now the Cité is considered as one of the examples of modern architecture, unfortunately this project of Fruges and the Swiss architect was not completely successful. Due to the financial problems, it was not fully executed and for a time the unfinished utopian social housing was somewhat forgotten. In 1983, the city of Pissac bought one of the skyscraper houses. It went through renovations as did other houses in the neighborhood. The city is listed along with 16 other architectural works by Le Corbusier on the UNESCO World Heritage List of 2016.